Hi, this is Justice. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking all about color inside of Rebel 4. So we're going to talk about how to pick colors, how to mix colors, how to save the colors that you have picked, and also how to make sure that those colors that you are using in your document, in your canvas, are going to print correctly and how to test that. So the first thing we're going to look at is using the pick color tool. Now the pick color tool, you can use I or hold X. You can also use the standard Alt key on the keyboard in order to pick colors. So here I'm going to uh, go ahead and switch to a watercolor brush and I'm going to hold down Alt. You can see as I move over these colors that I am getting only yellow. And the reason that I'm getting only yellow, I'm going to switch back to pick color, is that I have sample current layer selected. We do all layers here and one pixel. That's what this little dot here, this little red one in the middle is a single pixel color. So if I go over the single pixel here in the center, then it'll select just that one. So if I choose three by three and I hover directly over that red single pixel in the middle, what it's going to do is it's going to blend that one pixel with all of this blue around the outside. And so this is going to be just a slightly redder blue. Whereas here, if we go up to blue, we're going to see the blue mixing with quite a bit, almost the same amount of yellow. So you're going to have a blend, an average of those colors. So let's go click on five by five and you can see that same thing here. Now we don't have the canvas included in our color sample. So here we have white and white is not going to sample in or mix with the colors that you're picking if you have this turned off. Now I recommend all layers and canvas being selected because this is going to select what you're looking at. Now we have three by three, which is giving us an average. Now if I select a color here and I don't like it, I can use the escape key to go back to the color that was selected beforehand. This gives me a lot more flexibility in selecting a color and it keeps me from having to open up that color set panel if I don't want to. So let's go ahead and select right here this blue color and let's paint with that. And let's zoom out a little bit and increase our brush size so you can see here. Now, when you start painting with a color, it's immediately going to go into the color set. Now, we have colors here because we selected these colors. Let's go ahead and grab this and let's go ahead and make this larger. Bring this out a little bit further. Now, any of the colors that we've used on the canvas are going to show up here in our last used colors. As soon as you turn Rebel 4 off, this is going to clear all these colors out of the last used colors. And this won't input anything until you've actually added that color on the screen. So let's go ahead and select a few colors here. And you can see as I go through, it doesn't add them until we actually put it on the screen. Now, this next option is very cool for making palettes or for transitioning, but you're going to want to remember that it's on. This is the mix color option. Let's go ahead and turn this off for a second. We're going to select yellow, select mix color again. So now what I'm going to do is I have yellow selected and I'm going to transition yellow towards green. So let's press alt. Alt and click, Alt and click, Alt and click. And what you can see happening is this is slowly transitioning and making a beautiful palette at the same time. So you can see we're getting almost to the same spot. And here you've got this beautiful transition from yellow to green. Now, if you have this selected and you're trying to select a color over here, let's say I'm trying to pick the blue, and I'm going, okay, it's, it's not picking the blue. You can see over here is actually transitioning towards that color, towards that color, and it's going by a controlled increment. So if you want to adjust that, you can go to preferences here and choose color. And then mix color sensitivity. If you bring this to the right, it's going to take more steps in order to get to the color that you're, you're mixing towards. If you bring this to the left, it's going to take less steps. There will be less iterations in the transition to the new color. So we've selected a number of colors here. And if we want to turn this 
into a color set, you can do create color set from last used colors. You can see we have a new color set right here. Now a feature that I think is really, really cool, you can go over here to the context menu and choose create color set from image file. Choose how many colors you want represented. And then let's say you really like the colors in this image right here. You can choose open. And this is gonna create this beautiful palette based off of the colors in that picture. How cool is that? So cool, I love this. You can choose to show large colors. You can choose show color names, and this is going to display the hex number for that color. Let's say you have a color in your color set that you don't like anymore. Perhaps you've gotten into a small argument. You can select it here and choose to remove it with the remove color icon here in the corner. And if I don't want this color set anymore, I can click here on the minus sign to remove that palette from the color set. Now keep in mind, again, this will refresh every time you start Rebel. So if you want to save this, this will save up to 200 colors, which is more than what we'll display here at the top, but it will fit down here in this section. So let's go ahead and put down some yellow and select the green from our last used colors. And let's go ahead and blend those together. And what you can see is using this paint and blend mode is that we can transition these colors a little bit more organically. And again, this works because we have natural colors turned on, and this is going to really create that beautiful transition, that blending in between those colors. Now, if you're printing your work, you're gonna to wanna to look at color management options. We have different profiles here that you can select from. Down here, your proof colors, you're gonna to wanna to select whatever matches your printer. So we have AGF swap standard, we're gonna click OK. Our gamut warning color is this red. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look here inside of view at proof colors. This is gonna show me what this is going to print like, how the colors are going to be represented. And if we choose gamut warning, this is going to turn red all of the colors that are affected by that color profile, all the colors that are not going to accurately match when they print, they're gonna be this very vivid red color. So let's go ahead and turn these off. If you're not printing your work, you probably don't need to worry about those color management options. All right, that's it for our color video. If you guys have questions, put it in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.